Half an hour later, after they had visited the station, Tony and the little vampire landed at the top of the chestnut tree in front of Tony's building. Your window's open, whispered the vampire, who could see much better in the dark than Tony could. I really hope my parents aren't back yet, Tony mumbled. Just then the front door opened. Tony recognized Mrs. Washman with her fat Dotshund Susie on a leash. Susie stopped, raised her muzzle, and sniffed. Then she began to bark. Shh, hissed Mrs. Washman. But Susie continued to bark and tugged at the leash. She wanted to go to the chestnut tree. The little vampire slid restlessly back and forth on his branch. I think I'd better fly off, he grumbled, and added insistently, Don't forget, Saturday at the old cemetery wall, and bring some of your clothes. And you, your coffin, replied Tony. The little vampire spread out his cape and flew away. Mrs. Washman looked up anxiously at the apartment windows in the building, and then she pulled Susie to the bushes around the playground. When she had gone, Tony flew into his room and closed the window behind him. He could see light under his door. Had his parents come back already, or had they forgotten to turn off the lights? He quickly pulled the vampire cape over his head and hid it in the closet under his Austrian lederhosen and the matching traditional jacket that his grandmother had knitted for him, neither of which he ever wore. Then he listened. Wasn't that his mother's voice in the kitchen? He opened his door a crack so he could hear what they were saying. And I'm telling you, he's not in his bed, his mother sounded worried. Then he's in the bathroom, his father said. No, I looked in there. Then he must have crawled into our bed. No, he's not in our bedroom either. Then you must not have really looked. Not really looked, his mother said indignantly. Go see for yourself then. All right. Tony heard his father push the chair back and stand up. In one move, Tony jumped into his bed and pulled the blanket up to his chin. Almost immediately afterward, he heard his bedroom door open. Well, look at that, his father whispered. In bed, fast asleep. His mother walked into the room and stopped by the bed. Although Tony's eyes were shut tight, he could tell that his mother was looking him up and down. But his shoes, jeans, and sweater were well covered.